man who doesn't have all the things that they need to survive please may please may you bless them with that and in Jesus is mighty name amen Amen, amen. Thank you so much, Blaine. Uh, let us have Agatha. She's going to pray for the sick. Are you there and you are sick? Here is Agatha to lead you to the throne of healing in Jesus' mighty name. Can we have ourselves for the prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for today. I thank you for everybody and thank you for their lives. And Lord, we thank you for those you have provided and those you are going to provide for, Lord. We pray that you may heal all the sick and those who have lost hope in hospital. May you help them. And those, Lord, who have come to church to ask for healing, may you please heal them, Lord, and take away their sickness. In Jesus' mighty name of prayer. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a man of God here. He's going to pray for parents. Parents. Yes. The generation is a bit perverted. He's going to pray for their parents. God bless you. Thank you, God, for this day. Please may you bless us. Please may you bless the parents that are in need. And please may you keep them. And please may you heal them if they need healing. We just have prayed in them. Amen, 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 amen. Njagalo gambent, yes, to took away chitiwa. 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 Cut a choker, Murimiruwa. Or you so kubango, you were in Guruedi. Mogambe, yes, to took away chitiwa. You deserve all the glory. May the power, may the power of the Lord.
thank all of the children who have, have participated in the praise and worship. Any first time visitors, I'd like to welcome you to Covenant Nations Church. We're here on Sunday, 10.30. I would also like to welcome Pastor Benjamin. Praise God, church. Amen. Praise God, church. Amen. I can't hear you. Praise God, church. Amen. Today, I'm going to to pray uh, to thank God that he redeemed us from Isaiah chapter 53 verse 4 to, to 12. Let us humble ourselves and we pray. Father Lord, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you that you redeemed us. And we thank you that you have, you have made us come here. And we thank you that Pastor Patience came safely. And we thank you that you redeemed us. Like in Isaiah chapter 53, verse 4 to 12, it says, But he endured the suffering that should be ours. The pain should have borne. All the while we thought that, that his suffering was punishment sent by God. But because of our sins, he was wounded, beaten because of evil we did. We are healed by the punishment he suffered, made whole by blows he received. All of us were like sheep that were lost. Each of us is going his own way. But, but the Lord made the punishment fall on him. The punishment all of us deserved. He was treated harshly, but he endured it humbly. He never said a word like a lamb about to be slaughtered, like a sheep to be sheared. He never said a word. He was arrested and sentenced and led off to die. And so, so no one cared about his fate. He was put to death for the sins of our people. He was placed in, the, in a grave with a wicked. He was buried with the rich, even though he had never committed a crime. He never told a lie. The Lord says, it was my will to, that he sh should suffer. He, his death was a sacrifice to bring forgiveness. And so he will see the descendants. He will live a long life. And though him, by my purpose, will succeed, after all the, li the life of of his suffering, he will again have joy. He will know that we do not suffer in vain. My devoted servant, with whom I am pleased, will, will bear the punishment of many, and for his sake, I will forgive them. And so I will forgive him a place of honor. 
a place among the great and powerful. He willingly gave his life and she shared the fate of evil men. He took the place of many sinners and prayed that they be, might be forgiven. Amen. After the first great rainfall, Papa sent the watercolors to paint the rainbow in the sky. It was a sign to children everywhere of Papa's promises to them. The rainbow was a happy place filled with joy, laughter, and beauty. At Papa's notice, it would magically disappear and then reappear wherever he knew that someone needed his promises. But there was an enemy. The conspirators from the Shadowlands. They opposed Papa and his promises and used all of their evil schemes to try and stop the watercolors from their mission of building the rainbow. Now inside the rainbow is where the watercolors lived. There were thousands of them and you may think they are just ordinary raindrops, but you'll be quite surprised at all the extraordinary things they can do. Master toy maker and gives the gift of love to each new creation. Shine and yellow can put a dance in anyone's feet and bring the biggest smile to even the saddest face. Sparkle and orange is very studious and intellectual and was best qualified to operate the Omnium. Shimmer and blue is a great artist painting wonders with a magic brush. Glimmer and green is the peacekeeper of the rainbow. Pure Purple is an extraordinary composer, reminding children everywhere just how special they are in Papa's eyes. set out on their next mission. They're about to meet Lori, an orphan who lives with her Aunt Nella, and Tebby, her favorite bear. Rain made you so 
so sad. I wanted to play outside today. Now I can't. But who are you? I'm Splash Red. Splash Red. Where'd you come from? Have you ever seen a rainbow? Well, yes, of course I have. That's where I live. You do? Do you know where the rainbow comes from? No. It's a promise from Papa God. A promise from God? You mean God makes promises? Of course. Does he keep his promises? Yes, Papa always keeps his word. He's made many, many promises, hundreds of them. And each color of the rainbow reminds us about a different kind of promise. You mean there's yellow, blue, and green promises? <laughs> kind of. Like my color red. I reflect Papa's great heart of love for you. Lori started to giggle when she saw Splash whirl and twirl as the music began. Watercolors began to sing. Lori could hardly believe her eyes. Tebby started to blink and wink and wiggle his toes. Then he jumped to his feet and started dancing with shine. <laughs> he giggled and laughed as they turned in circles.
invited Debbie asked Lori to join them. Soon they were all having a joyful celebration. Lori was grinning from ear to ear. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Then after, he created man. Man woke up and realized that he was created with other creatures. He is seeing the baboon. He is seeing the elephants, the dog, the cat, the birds are flying.
Those are the baboons in the Garden of Eden. Man was only interacting with animals. Some of the animals were fearful, some were friendly. communicating with the gorillas. Looking at them, not resembling him. They are walking on four feet, he's walking on two. Man realized that there was something missing. He felt so lonely. He is alone in the Garden of Eden. He is looking at the baboon. Then God comes around and makes him to sleep. God in his splendor. As he was asleep, God comes back and plucks out a rib from him. God got a rib, brought the rib nearby the man. God's chemistry is so quick. The woman woke up and realized she is a creature. Man wakes up in the garden of Eden. Hey. What's this? The woman looks at the man in the Garden of Eden. The rib is so beautiful than the owner of the rib. <laughs> Speaking to the woman. This place is so good, full of supply.
in the garden of Eden the man was so caring minded about the woman hey 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 in love so close to each other They were too close to each other. The beautiful garden of Eden, full of each and everything. So peaceful was the garden. the serpent which was thrown out of the garden of Eden because of loving all the owners the serpent couldn't give up ever busy looking for whom to devour so crafty is the serpent So crafty, couldn't allow the woman to talk to the man. He, uh, the serpent appeared to be caring more. My dear, God refused us to eat from the fruit, from the tree in the middle of the garden. Oh, you get you eat you will have knowledge of him the woman went ahead to eat from the tree that had not been allowed to eat from Adam woke up to look for the woman she was nowhere to be seen. Adam looking all places. Eve had been convinced by the serpent. He is asking the baboons and the gorillas where Eve is. was here we have just eaten from the meat tree in the garden my dear God refused us to eat from the tree no 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 Adam have Eve gave Adam the fruits then they realized that they were naked and they themselves ran out of the garden. God, full of love, came in the garden looking for Adam and Eve, calling them to himself. Full of love is God. From the very beginning, he couldn't give up on man. There and then he cast the serpent who was walking upright to walk on his belly. Slaughtered an animal quickly, covered Adam and Eve. In his love, he covered them and then sent them out of the garden of Eden. Go and toil, go and bear in pain.
Immediately an angel of the Lord appeared. An angel appeared in the Garden of Eden to God so that no one will ever walk to the tree in the middle of the garden. God sent the angel with a flaming sword to God the way to the tree in the Garden of Eden. An angel appears to Mary. Mary, blessed are you. You will have a son. His name is Jesus. He will be the star of the world. Quickly, Mary ran to Joseph. Honey, the angel was here. We are going to have a son. His name is Jesus. Joseph couldn't believe this. He was so terrified. He had not yet married Mary. How can this be? Wait, 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 wait. When Joseph went in the middle of the night, an angel appears to him and speaks to him. Take Mary to be your wife. My lovely Mary, the baby is mine. Yes, come my wife. Come honey. As the Bible timings, Time came and Jesus was born, taken for circumcision on the eighth day, and led later on, there we had a Savior who was to fulfill our redemption plan in the name of Jesus. So God be the glory forever and ever. Amen. We, 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 we sound the people of the days coming your way.
would like to invite Elder Lydia to introduce the Sunday school teachers and yeah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Gahini. That was really good. You d you're doing good. Praise the Lord. Uh, my job is very simple to introduce the Sunday school teachers. We have uh, teacher Rachel Nabasa. We have teacher Phoebe. They are coming here. Teacher Phoebe, come on to. We have teacher Grace Chisachi. We have teacher Mildred Sejemba. We have teacher Deborah Namaganda. I'd like to all of you to come here. I want the congregation to see you and see who takes care of their children when they are not in the big church. Can you come in front here? Pastor Patience, these are the teachers for Sunday school and they are doing a great job. They teach them how to read the Bible, how to pray, how to believe in, go in God even in difficult situations, how to behave in their different societies, how to preach the gospel through the way they behave. So it's a great team we are working with. Yes, so at this time, I want you to go back, teachers. 